Consumer prices are up, inflation is here, and while the state is sitting on a surplus, a Democratic senator from the Lehigh Valley wants to put more money in your pockets by suspending the sales tax for two months this summer. Well, she says the state can afford it, and you probably want that, but as Dennis Owens reports from the Capitol, Pennsylvania's power brokers are not embracing it. When you introduce legislation, it's about starting a conversation. And I want to start this conversation. Consider the conversation started. Senate Bill 1120 will be introduced this week. It would suspend the 6% state sales tax on all purchases in June and July, the last month of this fiscal year and first month of next fiscal year. People have been paying their taxes their whole entire life. They should be able to do two months worth of not having to pay a, pay a sales tax. That'd be great. Bascola says inflation has pushed up the price of nearly everything. And since the state has a surplus, her bill is the quickest and easiest way to give money back. Now, I've been talking to individuals back home in Harrisburg, and some people love this idea. But do PA's power brokers love it? It's first I've heard of it. Governor Wolf said he'll look at the details, but his priority is reducing school property taxes. And I think that's where people are hurting the most. Property taxpayers are where, where we really need to give tax relief. House Majority Leader Kerry Benninghoff is equally cautious about Bascola's bill. You know, temporary things like that look good, feel good, and uh, what kind of impact they have on our overall economy. We'll have to look at that. But Bascola says the legislature needs to look less and leap more. And she says this to nervous colleagues. You hear a lot of people when they're running for office, they always say, oh, we have to keep money in people's pockets. Stop, you know, gouging them. Well, here's a way. So put your money where your mouth is <laughs> and uh, pass something like this to help people. They would really appreciate it. Pascola says her bill would only apply to the state's 6% sales tax. Philadelphia would still charge its 2 and Pittsburgh its additional 1%. In Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.